saw that I had like no hand. So there was nothing left on my arm. It was just blood and bones and I was in the water. You have to be willing to find the light though. You have to be willing to believe in yourself and to believe in your story and to believe that there's more than what you're going through and that what you're going through is going to bring you further into who you're supposed to be and your calling and find the good in it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Christy Sita, and I'm so glad you're here because today I have a long-awaited video. Um, on my four-year anniversary since my accident, I did a video kind of talking about my Jesus testimony and how my faith has come over the past four years that all kind of stemmed from the accident itself. But today, I'm doing a video really focused on just the day of the accident because I've had so many questions and a lot of my following is brand new on both my Cita Fit account and my Christy Cita account. So I'm here to tell you guys exactly what went down on July, oh, that's wrong, on June 30th, 2014, which was the day my life changed forever. Okay guys, let's get right into this. So I wanna start on June 25th, 2014, was the day I graduated high school at age 16. So at the age of 16, I graduated one year early. I had previously gone to my counselors when I was 14 years old and said, I really wanna pursue dance and I wanna to get to the city as quick as possible, so let's figure out how I can get out of here a year early. And thankfully, I was able to. So June 25th was the day that I did graduate. And I'm gonna insert a photo so around here is finishing high school and knowing that I was going to be moving to the city within the next couple weeks. And so, you can see this next picture was June 29th, June 29th, 2014. There, like, whatever hand is showing, that's my left hand. Not there anymore. And then this photo is from June 30th, 2014 at 9.50 a.m. I had just gone to the gym to kill a workout before I was going to the lake with my friends. And so, I took this picture of my left bicep and my left arm and my left hand in the gym bathroom which is really crazy this always does a big reality check for me but literally on my phone when I swipe from that picture the next picture is me in the helicopter on my way to Children's Hospital with one less limb so this is June 30 2014 swipe June 30 2014 at 340 go back 9.50 a.m. 3.40 p.m. That is crazy. Um, so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tell you what happened between 9.40 a.m. and 3.50 p.m. So, I was out at Ruby Lake on the Sunshine Coast, which is our favorite summer lake ever, and I remember it was the most beautiful day. It was blue sky. It was literally one of the best days I'd ever had. I had previously texted my mom saying I'm having the best day ever and that I'm so thankful that she let me come out to see my friends and I also sent her a video of me tubing which must have been, I don't know exactly what time I texted her but it would have only been a couple hours or a couple minutes before everything went down. Um, so what happened is we were done tubing for the little bit of time and so we pulled up into like the visiting section of the lake which was where lots of people lie on the sand and there's a little bit of a swimming area so we had pulled up into there and some of our friends that were on the boat were going to go grab some of their things but I stayed on the boat with um, two of my friends so just after a couple of minutes another group of my friends had showed up in a separate boat and we had decided that we were going to go anchor up and meet in the middle of the lake and hang out there and so all of our friends were taking a long time while they're going to grab their stuff and me being my impatient self I was like let's just go and so we ended up leaving but the tube was too big to fit inside the boat so that it could be like tucked down and so it's actually just resting on like the back of the boat and so we took off and we were going and the other boat had already left before us and they were meeting us in the middle of the lake and so we had were trailing behind them and we are going this whole time is like a teeny bit blurry for me so I don't have exact details but I'm gonna give you guys as much as I remember. All of a sudden the tube fell out of the back of the boat but nobody else realized but myself and my initial reaction was like, oh no, the tube. So I went back for the rope to save the tube and then my hand had gotten tangled and so my hand just like completely like, I was like this and all of a sudden it was like that. And all of a sudden it was like that. I had no idea what had happened and I rose out of the water and I was kind of like, oh, my shoulder feels a little bit weird. Um, so then I rose my left hand to be like, hey guys, come get me. 
and I saw that I had like no hand. So there was nothing left on my arm. It was just blood and bones and I was in the water and I was like, I honestly, and everyone always asked me if I felt pain there and, and I didn't feel anything. I was in so much shock. I had no idea what was going on. I just, literally there's a fight or flight and I went into fight and survival mode and I was losing all of my blood, but I was like, stay, like I was treading water so hard just to stay above because I'm like, I'm not going under, like I, I can't go down right now. And so then the boat, um, my friends on the boat had realized that I had fallen out. And so yeah, they picked me up and then they put me on the back of the boat and they wrapped my hand up super, super tight and made sure that I wasn't losing too much blood. And I remember like we were going super fast towards the boat launch and in my head, I was just like this realization that it was like literally five seconds ago, my life was completely different. I'm like, this can't be real. Like this is just a nightmare. This is not real. This is not real. This is not real. This is not real. And I was just like, it's that super surreal state that it's literally like five seconds ago, I had two hands and I was a normal person. And five seconds later, I have one hand and my life is completely changed. And that's just like a very surreal, very, 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 very surreal moment. And so I remember going through this process of like, no, this is a nightmare, this is a nightmare, this is a nightmare, this isn't real. And it was real, right? Um, so I remember going so fast into the boat launch and everyone, there was like a bunch of boats that came out and they're like, hey, slow down. And it was getting mad at us and like, we have... And the guys were just like, we have a huge emergency. And um, that's when we started to gather a bunch of medical people from around the lake, which helped me stay. Because we're also in the middle of nowhere. So there was no ambulance to get there within very quickly. So I had people that were like asking me questions and I knew everything. I was fully alert. I was not sleepy or scared or really, I was kind of just in like this really surreal state when I just was like, God, like you have to take it from here. Like I, I can't do this and I can't go right now. I was like, please don't take me just just please don't take me and that's all I could really think throughout my mind and my favorite show growing up which was always really crazy was Soul Surfer with Bethany Hamilton and Bethany Hamilton like it was like I had probably seen the movie 40 times it was my favorite because not only like her belief in her faith but also the storyline and her like overcoming adversity and just going so far into the world after not letting anything hold her back that was like something that drew me in so quickly and I loved it and so I was actually remembering every step that she took and every breath that she took and the prayer that she had and everything that her family was thinking and I was like I have to stay alive like I have to I have to fight and she taught me how to fight from watching that movie so much which was so crazy so crazy but pretty much that super kept me alert and I had a bunch of people that actually went out to go find the tube to see if they could find my hand and they found the tube and they rolled up the rope and my hand was still like holding on to the rope yeah. they put the hand in a cooler and the cooler came with me actually to the hospital because they were hoping to maybe reattach my hand um, so fast forward like half hour I got into the ambulance and the ambulance they took me to the nearest helicopter pad um, and then at that point I remember I was like in the ambulance and they were like turn away because they were undoing like the wrap up that the boys had did and then they were putting on like a medical one then they're like turn away like turn away you're not going to want to see this and you're not going to remember me blah 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 and I like remember I was like no and I watched them do it and I watched them take off the covering on my hand and I watched them do that thing and I also remember every single one of them I remember you um, so I remembered everything from there and then I got transferred into the helicopter and in the helicopter I think I was like in and out because I was on so much medication but there was one point when I was like hey can you go into my purse I was like is my purse here grab my phone and take a picture of me so that's the picture that you guys previously saw that I'll show up again here but I'm in the helicopter like low-key smiling on my way to Children's Hospital like not knowing what was going to happen at all or really what was going on and also at that point I was telling everyone in the helicopter I was like oh I want to be a professional dancer and I'm like and these are all my hopes and my dreams and I love fitness and like my whole world is just dance and I was like I just was going off about everything that I wanted to pursue and everything that I love they're like okay who is this girl like she's literally dying and all she's talking about is dance and fitness and so it was a really like surreal ride and then I got off the helicopter and I remember I was like getting strolled into the hospital and I had like blankets on me and it was really hot out so I like took off my blankets and I was like I'm tanning. I'm tanning. So yeah after getting off the helicopter I got rolled into the emergency room. 
all of the surgery rooms were full and all of the surgeons were taken so they actually had to bring in um, like one of their other surgeons which was Dr. Vang Lincoln and she is my lifesaver. She did the best possible operation on me ever. Um, and so going into that they did have my hand and they kind of explained to me after because I went into surgery and I remember I was like I like I remember I was lying there and I looked at every single surgeon like directly in the eye and I had to see every single one and there's interns in there there's a bunch of people and I just said that God has a plan for me and that was my last words before they put like the mask over and I like <laughs> so what happened in the surgery room is they actually had to pull some of my like because all of my forearm muscles came off as well like my hand ripped off with all of my muscles that was in this arm so that's why you can see it's really thin here um, so they pulled down a little bit of my muscle into everywhere and they put also muscle at the end so it's fully weight bearing and that's how you guys see that I can do my fitness and I can put all my body weight on it is because it's fully weight bearing. And then you can see kind of that they sewed it back up here, kind of goes all the way around. Um, but it's a very like clean stump, my surgeon, I know clean stump is a really weird phrase but my surgeon did really really well. I have no extra skin on it, it's just sewn together so I can live. Um, but yeah guys, that pretty much brings me to the end of what happened on June 30, 2014. I want to do a whole nother video for you guys on my recovery um, because that was a whole nother process and just so many things are involved in that. Um, so what I really hope you guys get from today, if you're another amputee or if you're just someone watching my video, value your life and value your limbs and value your health because like I showed you, like there is so much that can happen between 9.50 a.m. and 3.50 p.m. Like, I woke up on that day and I would have never known what my life would possibly have been like by the end of the day. And like, life changes so quickly and it's so cliche to say, but anything can happen at any second and like, no day is guaranteed, no moment is guaranteed, nothing in your life is guaranteed. Like, everything is temporary or riskable. And so I really just hope that if you guys can get anything from this that you just really take advantage of your life and really live every single day. It's just like, just be appreciative every day and be present in every day because you really don't know what the next day is gonna hold. And I mean, I, if you wanna see more about my journey personally, you can go to my testimony video. There's lots of goods in there of how mentally I got through that time and how I got through my recovery. Um, like going through the accident was the biggest challenge I've ever encountered, but it's also been the biggest blessing in my life and I would not, change a single day i would not change anything i am who i am for a reason and god's brought so much reason into who i am and what happened to me and really making me a light for the world through what's happened to me and that i can tell you guys and that i can inspire people out there to just keep on living and live to the fullest and be present and love your family and love your friends and just really know that nothing is nothing is here to stay and i really just hope that you guys can be inspired and know that i am doing like so okay i love my life more than ever and i am so grateful for everything that's happened to me because it's made me the person i am today and i wouldn't have myself any other way so i really hope you guys share this video if it did inspire you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i want to do more um sit down chats with you guys because right now i've only really done fitness and my testimony video but I think talking to you is so important and I think that's a huge reason why I'm still here is to inspire and tell my stories and speak to you guys and be present and be real. Um, so please do subscribe, it would mean the world to me and I can't wait to meet you guys in the next video. But if you guys want, comment your, your story down below. I want to hear what you've been through and like what your life is and who you are. and. If you're an amputee, I would love to connect with you and reach out to me because I love talking about you guys. Um, but you guys can follow me on Instagram. I've got my Christy Sita, which is my personal page, and my Sita Fit is my fitness. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.